Hi YouTube, it's Stephanie here. Um, I just uploaded a video yesterday and I was looking at some comments and somebody had requested a while ago that I do a video on my pen case. And um, it's something that I have been wanting to do for a while, so I thought I'd show you my pen case and what I carry in it. And um, yeah, so let me just get started. This is my pencil slash pen case. Um, I bought it at Walmart when I was in grade 7, so I must have been like 12 or something like that been a long time. I've had it for a very long time. Um, it is a Spider-Man pencil case. Let me make the screen a bit, a bit brighter so you can see that. Um, it's had writing all over it and um, the writing has like worn away. Pretty crazy. I've had this for such a long time and it's still in perfect condition. It holds a lot and um, it's got, I think this is for a belt. I'm not sure what it's for, but I just keep paper clips stuck to it. Um, but yeah, so let me just get right into it. And it's got this um, Spider-Man symbol on here. Okay, so um, the first thing I pulled out of here, I've got, there's one thing missing, but um, my whiteout. This is the Paper Mate liquid paper. Um, it's not amazing, but it's better than like a no-name brand, so, and it's the only thing that the Target near me sells. I mean, I could just walk over to the dollar store or to Staples, but at that point I had already things in my hand and I had to go, so I just picked this one up. Um, let me see here. Oh, I have this pen. This is my mummy pen. Um, this thing has lost its head a couple times and I've glued it back on. Um, I love this thing. I got it at the uh, the museum when the Egyptian exhibit was here, and um, I love this thing. It writes beautifully. The only thing is it's sometimes uncomfortable to write with, but because it's it's the weight is distributed mostly on this side, my writing is really neat with it, and I absolutely love it, and it writes really nicely. So I love this thing. The next thing I'll pull out of here, I'll just collect some things. I've got a bunch of highlighters. Um, and then I have some Pit Squeak markers because my highlighters have been running out since I started school. Uh, oh, right. So I have a yellow highlighter, which I use for just about anything. A blue highlighter, which is for my politics class. A pink erasable highlighter, which I use for anything because it's erasable, but I also use it specifically for English because that's the color for my English class. I have a green pit squeak marker. Oh, the name of it's worn off, but the names of these are usually really funny. Um, because my green highlighter died, this is for my world issues class, uh, geography otherwise. And um, I have a black pit squeak marker just in case I need a black marker for something. And then usually I would have a purple one, but I think it's in my binder for my Challenge and Change class. Um, and this is where the color coding colors came from. This is my Mead pen, and it, you guys have all seen this before if you watch my videos. Um, this pen is awesome. It's very similar to the Bic Fashion Color pen. Um, I don't think they make these anymore, or I've had a hard time finding them. Um, but it's just the, the same four colors all around. So I just usually, if I'm taking four courses, I just assign the colors according to the course, what I think fits best. So, um, yeah, that is that. And I use that in my file facts all the time. Then I have these pens. These are the Bic Bold pens. There's another one in here, yep. There should be another one. Anyway. I've got the four colors, again it's the fashion colors, so pink, purple, green, and blue. Um, and these I use for like taking notes and um, also use these in my file facts if something I need, it needs to stand out that this won't do, like this is a lot thinner than these pens, these are really bold. So I use those. And then I also have a black version of the bold pen because I really like it's either the pen has to be really bold or really, really thin for me to like it. So, really super bold pen. Then, I have a super thin red pen, and this is the RSVP 
Pentel pen. Then I have ooh. then I have this uh, my friction pens. I have two, three friction pens. One needs to be thrown out. This one's dead, but um, it worked really well when when I first bought it. It's just, I've had it for months now and it's died. Um, ah! Then I have an orange 0.7 friction pen. Um, the only warning I have about these is don't use the eraser on these. Make sure you, um, well, I mean, if you have one of these ones with the different eraser or the 0 0.5, ah, 0 0.5 with the more transparent eraser, see if you can see the difference. These ones make a mess. These ones don't. So, like, when you buy them first, uh, first thing, it won't make a mess, but when you start using it more often and the tip gets dirtier, it will start making a mess. With the clear ones, that doesn't happen, so I just thought I'd share that little tidbit of information for you guys. Um, I really like the clicker pen. It's really great. It's addicting to click because, I mean, I don't know, I've never seen a pen that clicks with the um, pen clip. Um, but yeah, friction clicker, 0 0.5. And this one's dead, so I may as well leave that out. Then I have uh, my Blue Jays pen, which I absolutely love. I had to buy new ink for it because when I first got it, I was using it like every day and the ink ran out. So right now, I'm not sure if it's up here again. Right now I have a cross refill. That is fine. But I don't know how I feel about these refills. I don't think they're really that great. Um, I'm going to try and find something that fits in here that's not cross. Or maybe it's just because of how thin it is. I don't know. I like bolder pens, so. Then I have, which I showed you yesterday, the Bic Quantum Pen. Pencil, sorry. That I bought at the dollar store and the lead and erasers for that. I have a and a big eraser. My Paper Mate Ink Joy pen, which I love the design of this. It's super thin. Um, it writes really bold, but the problem with this pen is, when I first got it, the ink was super bold, but now all of a sudden it doesn't write as well as I want it to. Um, I don't know if I'm just like, I mean, it's the ink is still full. Let's see, there's still tons of ink in there, so I don't know why it's not as bold as it was when I first opened the pack. Um, that's really strange. Anyway. And then I have this blue pen from the studio pack of 19 pens, or sorry, 18 pens that I showed you. So I'm really enjoying that. And, um, oh, I also have this chubby pen for my iPad, which I don't really carry my iPad around with me very often anymore just because when I'm at school I'm surrounded by computers and I can just hop up and jump onto a computer when I need to. I also have my Samsung Galaxy. When I bought my iPad, I had an iPhone, which isn't as nice to browse the internet with, but with the Samsung, I never have any problems with it, so I generally, like, if I need to look up something on the fly, I can do that with my phone, and I don't really need my iPad for that, but I do keep this just in case there's some days where I throw my iPad in my bag. Then I have... Sorry. This is usually in my pencil case. It is a stapler, mini stapler, and it came with gold staples, which is really awesome. And it also has a staple remover at the end. Um, so it's like an all-in-one, which is great. And then I also have in here my hole punch, my one hole punch, which always comes in handy. There's always something that I need to hole punch, whether it's for class or for my file facts. Um, so that's really handy to have on me all the time. And that is about everything. The only other thing that I would mention is that I carry this red pen in my file of facts. Um, and that's about it. Everything else stays in my pencil case, except maybe the um, Papermate pen will move in, into my file of facts, or the Blue Jays pen will move into my file of facts. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing that day and how I feel about carrying my pencil case around. But that is everything you can see. This has both the, all the white out, the hole punch, 
in the stapler in here, and there's still plenty of room. I can close it very easily, and everything is in there. I don't need anything else. This is sufficient. It carries everything I need. Um, and in regard to pencil, or sorry, post-it notes and stuff like that, I just stick them at, because I always have my file facts with me. I just stick post-it notes ah, on here. So and in here. So um, I do have everything that I need with me all the time even with this really small pencil case, which just slides right into the corner of my bag. Anyway, that is my pencil case review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm sorry to um, the person who requested this that it took so long. And I remember reading that comment, making a video, and then not posting it, and I think I deleted it. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and have a great weekend, guys. Bye now.